Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talk about how to use a ZLearn function which counts the characters of a sentence and also consider space, decimal or any symbols as a character. Okay, today we are going to talk about another text-based function inside of Excel called search function. Microsoft Excel has several different of these text-based functions like left, right, and made function. We also have learn function. These are just few of them. We are going to take a look at another one here called search function. Okay, but there is another one called find. This function are used to identify the numeric position of a given character within a cell and they are often used interchangeably. They can be found inside other formulas where you need to know the cell position. If you are look, looking to extract data using left, right or mid function, these are formulas or function you can use for that. However, if you have not watched my last video tutorial on how to use the left, right, mid and what length function inside of a Z, kindly go back and watch it to have more in-depth on a Z test based function. Okay? Now, let's delve into how to use search function inside of a Z. Search function in a Z is very simple and easy. Open in front of me here, I have a simple table, okay, where I want to perform the search function, okay, and from the top here, I have full name, first name, and what, the last name, inside of the table array. What I want to do here is that I want to split or separate first name and what the last name using a search function. It is important to note that when the table array contains only the first name and the last name in one column, separated by what a single character or comma, then the search function is used. However, if you still remember the left, right, and main function I talk about in my last video tutorial then let's try and see if it is going to separate what the first name and the last name for us so let's try this out fine you know, the first step is that I'm going to click on one the cell B5 then I'm going to like it to what formula at the top here you can see then then test so from the drop down list, where is my where is the first name which is Austin is on the left. So left, I'm going to click on what left right here. Good. Then this open up my what my function argument window where I'm going to input some text inside. Then here the text is uh, first. Where is our text at? That is in the cell A5. So I'm going to click on it. Then the num chart. So how many characters do we need to get from the first name? That is Austin. If you count it, one, two, three, four, five, and six. That is six characters. So I'm going to type six here and hit on what? OK button. OK, good. If I drag it down, you can see. It returns the tail from the wall, the first name, and some few tests from the wall, the last name. And you know what? I don't want to see the last name messing up what, with the first name. Okay. And to do this, we are going to use what, the search function. And the search function we allow us to search a string of collection of value for a specific character right let's do the word the false name first okay so i'm going to clear off this now to apply what the search 
function okay so and now the and apply the type function so that will enable us to separate what well, the first name and the last name in what in is in the one column so watch this so first step is that i'm going to select what well, the cell b5 which is right here that is where i want what well, the first name well, to return okay then so i'm going to apply the, well, the formula that will enable us well, to separate the first name from the last name so watch this so i'm going to type equal to then where so where is the austin art is on the left so i'm going to apply the left here then open up my parentheses so where is my test as is on the wall say a5 okay so i'm going to click on it then i'm going to put a comma then i'm going to apply search now so the search what search function does it uh, does is it returns the position of that character we are searching for so now i'm going to open up my parentheses then i'm going to put a quote then space and quote and uh, what i want i want to tell him to find space and this is written as space quote space so then i'm going to close my parentheses and literally whenever we put a code is exactly what the excel we search for okay okay sorry so i'm going to remove, I will remove the code then put a comma then where it my uh, cell reference as which is here i'm going to put it again then i'm going to close what the parentheses right here now okay good so i'm going to apply well, minus one okay um this is used to remove what the extra space or comma at the end of what the test string we have a space in between what the austin and bernardo and uh, austin and bernardo which is the full name which is what austin bernardo okay so i'm going to close what my parenthesis right and hit on what enter key it that is it it returned the first name that is austin now i can drag it down to the word last cell right there okay i can drag it down you can see that it's it doesn't mess up with what the last name right there so it brings out only the word only the first name from the word from this single column uh, here so now let's do the word the last name now okay and last name is on the wall on the right right which is bernardo is on the left and i mean on the thing is on the left and bernardo is on the right so now i'm going to apply the wall the right function right here but meanwhile and to bring out the last name out we are going to combine it with the len function and len function will help us here because it will return the length of the test string and len function spaces are considered as a character within a string so first step i'm going to select the cell c5 here where i want the last name to return and the formula to separate the last name right here is that i'm going to type i'm going to apply right function right here which is bernard is on the right i'm going to apply the last function which i'm going to type equal to then right okay open up my parentheses then where is my test at which is what at one so a5 okay then comma so i'm going to up, then now apply the length function now okay then i'm going to open up my parentheses again then then my my test here then i'm going to close what my parentheses now so i want to remove the search here because length we calculate the length of the word the character here so i want to remove the word the first name i applied before so i'm going to put on word minus then 
apply the search here then open up my parentheses then so then take take effect of all the space there space then okay then comma then input my test again then the command then apply then put one because i want it to work to bring out the word the last name for me then close my parentheses then close my parentheses then it on what okay that is it it returns the last name which is what the Bernardo. now i can drag it down to the last cell here you can see it brings out the last name for me you can see bernardo rich scores helen marcos cleans and so on you can see very simple and very robust function inside of the cell search the text in the cell for space find the position and then subtract the position from the total length of the string by using well, the learn formula try this out thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more robust excel function on this channel thank you bye